welcome back today we'll be looking at how to create this rotating photo carousel using canva this video was inspired by a video i watched on youtube created by michelle tot a huge shout out to her let's quickly go into canva to recreate this design so here on canva we'll be picking a video template we'll go into that and go over to our elements and go to frames and select the frames we want to work with this is the frame we will work with we will change the border colors of the frame by picking a gradient color we will go back into the gradient color and select it and start putting in more colors to the gradient we will be changing the middle color to white the edges to black and we will be changing the two sides to purple and blue now we want to duplicate the frame and resize it into smaller bits of sizes to place the pictures in them so the first one that will pop up to be seen will be bigger than the one coming after it then the one will be bigger than the one coming next to it to so make that five i would suggest making the number of frames to be in an odd number let's highlight everything and go over to position and position it to middle and make the space in horizontal now let's copy one of the frame and resize it to be smaller a little bit and position it in between two frames in the front we're placing it so that they can be reviewed when we are rotating these images once we're done with that we'll select everything and position it to be at the middle we will not space it out horizontally so that the pictures can review in between these places after we've gotten our frames in position we'll go over to element and search for beautiful black lady and we'll go over to photos and start putting in pictures into the frame we'll place each picture how we want them to look like in the frame we'll select all our pictures and start adding them one after the other When we are done adding the pictures, we'll go over to position and select the four images behind and drag them to the back. Then we'll gently drag them and position them to be at the middle. You see how it reviews in between the spaces? Then we'll go over to the first page and duplicate that page. We will click on the second page and go back to element and go over to our recently used photo to see all the pictures we've added. The idea is for you to know the arrangement style you use so that you can always remember in what position each photos are. For the frames behind, you want to gently drag the photo and make sure that it has selected the frame to drop it in. One thing you should know is that you can always go back to the first page to see in what order your pictures are arranged, whether you are moving them around. Once you're done, we'll duplicate the second page and go into the third page and do the same as we did for the first page. Just know in what orders your pictures are arranged so that the pictures are moving in from the left to the right and that way it can be circulating. Once you're done changing the images in the third page to what you want them to be, you duplicate the third page and go into the fourth page and continue the same process of moving your picture to go towards the right from where it was before. Let's duplicate the fourth page and go into the fifth page to start placing our pictures and moving them to go to the right while the pictures at the back will go towards your left side moving in a circular direction. When you are done moving your pictures around on the fifth page, you will duplicate the fifth page into the sixth page 
we'll go into the sixth page and start the process of moving the pictures again in a circular direction going towards the right one thing you should know that the purpose of duplicating this page we have nine pictures in the page so we have to make them move all the nine pictures so that they can display at the first frame so what we want to do is to create nine pages and make sure each picture has gone around the circular form let's duplicate the seventh page and go into the eighth page and continue the process We'll duplicate the eighth page which is the last page we'll be creating and we'll go over the process again now that we are done let's hover in between these two pages any of the pages and click on the transition which will open up the transition interface for us we'll be using match and move and we'll increase the duration to 2.5 and apply between all pages let's preview that This is too fast let's go back to our duration and reduce it to 1.5 and apply it to all pages now let's quickly crop out our edges of the first page we want to trim it so that the picture does not display for long before it starts rotating we'll trim it to our liking and we'll go over to the last page and trim that also as we trim the first page now let's go and preview what we've done one pro tip you should know is that for the placing your images into the frame if you try as much to use images that you can just place not having to double tap the frame and shift the image so it doesn't have this jarring effect um yeah so it's smooth as it transitions yeah so this is what match and move can get you on canva if you found this video useful consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this thank you so much for watching and do have a good one